Hey, Todd, this one's for you. Bam! <laughs> Tank Top Tuesday. Hey, hey guys. guys! Welcome back to our channel. This video is going to be a chatty type of video, kind of an update on what's going on with us and our channel. Are we staying? Are we leaving? Do you even care? <laughs> Oh, of course they do. Well, if you're watching this video, I assume you care just a little bit. So you guys this, missed us. So this video isn't exactly booktube related, and I have no idea how long this video is going to be. Um, hopefully not painfully long. So if you like, grab a cup of tea, hot cocoa, vodka, um, beer, whatever. And Whiskey. I can't drink, but yeah. We'll unless, go into that later. And let's get on into this. I recently found out that Lori's preggers. And I called it. I yeah. called it the night it happened. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he did. He did. <laughs> he definitely called it. We are not exactly sure how far along I am yet, but if our calculations are correct, I'm about seven weeks. And our first appointment with the ultrasound and estimating the due date is next week. So we're super excited to see our newest bundle of joy. Yeah. Little well, screamer keep us up all night for the first six months and no sleep. He's not excited about the newborn stage. I'm not going to lie. I'm not the best person to be around after pushing out a baby. <laughs> no, she's not. She's a very angry person. You push out a baby and see how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, we're both excited. Oh, yeah. That's good news number one. Good news number two is that my dad published a book. You probably yeah, so already excited. have heard of it. I posted it on my social media. I'm super excited. This is a Catholic book. However, I feel like... Anyone could read it. Um, Especially any Christian. I mean, it's about the apostles, how they're, how they relate to us as just ordinary people. It's great. And my dad, he uh, shares some of his personal experiences. I think adds a nice touch. And his writing style, I think, is definitely pretty unique. It's like you're having a conversation with a friend, I think. Has he had four or five reviews? My dad has. I know he had three. Four. Okay, so he's had he has four, four reviews. Total reviews: three five star and one four star yep. so far. Um, and these, the, the the first three weren't from Catholics or religious people. He, oh, they weren't. No, they sent them off. The publisher sent them off. Oh. Yeah. That says something. Yeah. Interesting way to go, Dad. So we will definitely, as soon as that comes out, we'll be reading it and, doing and we'll review. be reviewing it. So that's that's another good news. As you. <laughs> And then finally, uh, we're moving back to North Carolina. Woo woo! Um, if you don't know, that's where I was born. Um, and my friends and family are there, and so are a couple of his friends and, and his family. brother. My brother. Uh, his brother. And my, my, my sister in law. Who's and also my from. Little baby. Little baby niece. And soon to be another little bit. Yeah, the, the Dawson family is growing exponentially yeah. this year. That's great, right? So. There's a lot of great things happening, but it's very overwhelming when you know you have to prepare a move with two toddlers and prepare for a new baby. And a stressed out life. Yeah, so uh, a big reason why I haven't been as active watching videos and commenting or even filming is because with everything that's happening, it feels like everything is happening at the same time. We're kind of at this, we know we're moving, we just don't know when. And before we move anywhere, he has to be replaced. Yeah, because um, it's an intercompany transfer. Right. So. And, and, and before he can move, even when they find a replacement, have to train him, be shift ready, that could take a few months. Now, keep in mind with that, you don't know how long it's going to be to find someone um, on top of, you know, nine months in the pregnancy cutting it kind of close so we're kind of trying to figure out okay what's going to happen are we having the baby here and then moving with the newborn or are me and the kids going to move back and live with my parents have the baby there and him possibly not be there for the birth um that is the situation we are we're, we have that mindset where you hope for the best but plan for the worst and the worst is him not being there and he already wasn't there for our daughter's birth at least with this aspect i won't be too far away an ocean away yeah uh so we have those two options but the problem is we can't really plan for either of them 
it's like we're back in the military where it's like, okay, you got to hurry up and wait. And once I hit 36 weeks, I can't travel because you could have that baby at any time. And also on top of that, trying to figure out, are we potty training Jason? Are we going to wait till we move to potty train him or are we just going to do it now while we're still here? Is Gabby going to preschool? Is she just going to skip preschool and go to kindergarten? Because, you know, there is that cutoff date for when your kid can start preschool. And there's a good chance she might miss it because we'll still be here, still waiting on a replacement for him. And I don't feel comfortable, at least we don't feel comfortable, putting her in preschool for like a month yes. and then having to take her out. If we could transfer her, I think that would be okay. I think she would handle that because she's very, she handles things with, she, she, she does handles adapt. it and strives. She does adapt well. Uh, another aspect was him with this new job. Great opportunity for him. He's going to learn a lot. Um, room to grow. It's great. He's super excited. The another issue is being on call 24 seven. Again, it's just like the military. We could be doing some, for instance, we could be filming right now and bam, he gets a call. Hey, gotta go. And it's like, well, damn. <laughs> so I've already been forewarned, you know, not really to plan anything. I think to really be able to do something together as a family, even go on a date, he would have to put in vacation, which you can't do that all the time. So that, that's been eating at me, and so I've been really sacrificing the YouTube time to spend more time with him before that happens, and also to focus more on my kids, because when the new baby gets here, the new baby's gonna need, need some attention, and I'm probably depending on his schedule and how often he's gonna have to go in whenever they need him. I might be in a situation again where I'm on my own, but I will have family um, about an hour or two away. It's, it's just... It's very overwhelming and it's been eaten at me mentally and I haven't really been sleeping. And I know we all have those issues, you know. Um, I know we, all of us, if you're watching, you probably experienced depression, which I think I was getting into. He experienced it too. He's not vocal about it. He doesn't share it. Uh, <laughs> so, and I'm not really going to go into so, it. So, on that note, I'll just dive into mine real quick. I got nail appendicitis. And the bill came. The bill. I saw the. I was off work for two weeks. That that was, but it was set up in the in between pay periods. So for both pay periods, I lost my overtime for both paychecks. So as a provider, that was a big hit for me. I'm heading back to work, and this big rock had fell down. Well, I would say big rock, and um, there were two more sitting in front of it. Or back away from it. I saw them, but I didn't see it. And I blew my tire. And then we find out Lori's pregnant. Also, hand and foot. Super happy. Super stressed out. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how am I going to pay for this? How am I going to get a van? How am I going to pay for this tire to get fixed to get to and from work? How am I going to pay the um, medical bill? How are we going to pay for Gabby to get in high school? And just everything is coming together. High school? Or getting to preschool. So everything is just falling on me and it's really overwhelmed. But once I came up with a plan, I was I was right. pretty much fine. It was just during that time and it was starting to, because of that, that's when I started getting into a video watching slump because it was just getting, it was just getting very overwhelming. Um, because when he's experiencing depression, it, uh, it affects me. I'm not used to seeing him like that. And it's, it's hard because he, he's my rock. And when he's at that stage, I try to be his rock, but I'm still learning how to be his rock kind of thing because he's rarely like that, you know? He's always the one, um, you know, being there for me when I fall. He's the one that's there. He hardly falls. And sometimes when he falls, he'd rather mm -hmm. me not help him. He wants to do it on his own, and that's just how he was raised. He feels weak if I try to be the one to lift him up. He, that's just how he is. Uh, that's just something that I have to work around um, and just respect him when he says, I just need you to let me figure this out right now. Just let, let give, me, give me time. This past week, you know, he goes back on nights and nights I think are the hardest for me, um, especially when he's having to work all weekend. It, I just kept thinking about 
everything. I'm trying to mentally prepare myself for what's going to happen and not stress out about it. That is my thing. I stress way too much. And when I stress, I get sick and I don't sleep and I start to shut down. Uh, my pregnancy has my hormones all jacked up. I'm wondering if, there we go, the emotions, <laughs> blaming pregnancy, <laughs> just go with that. Uh, I'm wondering if I'm going to be okay mentally, physically after this baby comes. I think I will be because my family will just be an hour or two away and they're huge supports unless we're already going to be living with them. <laughs> but pregnancy is not, is not easy. It, there's obviously there's, there are risks, anything can go wrong, but then it could just be a perfect pregnancy. His biggest fear is for me to get sick again, like I did with Gabby. That has always been his fear every time, even when I got pregnant with Jason. That has always been on his mind. That is always the forefront. That's what he's worried about. The second biggest fear is when Jason had showed soft signs for Down syndrome. It was a big, it was a big crush for me. Obviously, we wouldn't abort, but I would love that. I would love that baby for all it's worth. But every parent wants their child to have a full and fulfilled life and the guidelines for a fulfilled or a full and fulfilled life is not being with your parents or having to have a caretaker and i know there's different levels but every parent you, you don't understand if you haven't been in that situation or if you are in that situation i give you guys major props anybody that is living through a child with special needs that's my heart goes out we to you. We have a you guys are, friend who yeah. goes through that. You guys are amazing. Um, but when I found out Jason possibly had Down syndrome, I it it was like a kick to the chest. I, I lost. I feel like I got heart punched. So yeah, that's that's the second biggest fear I have is that something will be wrong with the baby. And obviously, I think that goes with every pregnancy for yeah. everybody. Those two things are and always... even if, if there was, if for some reason our, our third child was born with, like I say, a disability, it's not going to change. It's not going to change how we feel. Is it a fear? Yeah, it's always a fear. Because you want the best for your kids. But you don't want them to suffer. So we, we have all this stuff going on, and you have all these thoughts. And then you just, for me in my case... I tend to shut down, <laughs> right? Um, and one of the, when I, I've, I've started to realize something, when I find myself not wanting to talk to anyone, and this includes especially to my, my friends that I made through the booktube community, when I find myself getting to that point where I just don't want to talk to anyone, that's where I know that, okay, hold on a second, you, you can't shut down. You can't. You can't go back to that. And um, I'm just going to mention someone, Steve, from The Long Note, because I asked Thomas to message him because we had a collab and we still haven't filmed it yet. Like I said, not in the right headspace, just emotionally, mentally drained. Physically, every aspect of exhaustion for the both of us, this, the last three months have been a very... It's been... A lot. When I asked Thomas to message him, I was like, okay, don't do that. You need to message your friends. So I messaged back Steve to get another conversation going. I also messaged Emily from Emily's Going to Law School, uh, Joe from Not So Abish Joe, and, and Jenna from Bibliofield, just so that I can get that, that connection back. Um, but also to see how they're doing. I generally do want to know how everyone is doing. When I feel like this, I'm not really going to say what's wrong, just because I don't want to burden anyone. Um, I don't like to post what's wrong because I know that there's so many people going through things and I feel like there's no no one's gonna want to really hear about my issues you know I'm very blessed I am with everything that's going on I'm blessed but right now it's just it's a lot it, it, it's a lot and trying to stay good emotionally and mentally not only for myself but for him and our kids and it's, it's hard to stay strong sometimes especially when you don't know what's going to happen there's a lot of unknowns that are going on right now and so in regards to this channel I mentioned on Twitter that our channel may come to an end that's how I saw it but he he enjoys making these videos with me 
He really enjoys it. I think it gives her an outlet. And I enjoy it too, but my thing was I haven't been interacting enough. I haven't been watching anyone's videos. And I feel like if I'm not watching anyone's videos, I shouldn't post videos. So if I'm not taking the time to watch anyone's videos, why should I take the time to post my own? If that makes sense. I really do enjoy watching everyone's videos. Um, but it also takes a lot of time. And I have to cut back on the time that I'm on YouTube. Because <laughs> I think trying to watch everyone's videos in one day is, 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 is a bit much. Well, one good thing is with breastfeeding, you, you're pretty much stationary. <laughs> <laughs> you can breastfeed and do things at the same time. You just have to figure out how to place the baby in when, the carrier. Where, where is this when that happened with our children? I was a noob. <laughs> there well, is such well, a thing well, as breastfeeding time. noob. I was lazy. <laughs> so what about third time? I can't be lazy. <laughs> there's, there's, no, no, I can't be lazy. That baby's going in, in, in how hot? Well, don't do that. That baby's going in the carrier, eating his lunch, and I'm going to go about my business and keep going. Y'all heard it here. I'll let you know what happens with that because it's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not easy to breastfeed, I'll tell you that much. Well, babies are heavy. <laughs> I really don't want to lose this. We might be posting less. There might be a week where we post a bunch of videos. I don't know. You know, you never know. That's sometimes what we do. We, we post whenever we want, and I guess we're just going to keep it that way. And there might be a few weeks where we don't post at all. The monthly happy hour is not going away. We're no. Actually, we have one hopefully scheduled this weekend. Hopefully scheduled this weekend. When we get confirmation. I can't drink. You be doing your cocoa. It's I, not the same. We'll be happily drinking. And I think the, the happy hour after the baby comes is going to it's probably definitely gonna help. Us. Is it? We're still going to do Once it? Once a month? Fuck yeah, I'm gonna still going to do it. Okay. <laughs> no argument here. I might be going, hold on, honey, got to go feed the baby. You keep going. Um, yeah. So yeah, y'all y'all get a lot of me because I don't have that unless, capability. Unless you get called. <laughs> yeah, unless you well, get yeah. called. And then, I have and then I'm going to be alone right with there. the baby. Like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> baby make yeah. that money <laughs> other types of videos i've been thinking maybe i want to do some pregnancy related videos like pregnancy updates uh maybe some pregnancy vlogs obviously still book related i'm still gonna read books currently i'm still kind of in a reading slump i've only read two books this month i'm finishing my second book so I'm not accused. Hey, we're gonna have a very short wrap up <laughs> um, because i've been wanting to I've been playing wanting to play video Digimon. games I'm a big Digimon. I mean, obviously, 90s. Digimon. But... Digital monsters. No? Is that not how it goes? This discussion is probably all over the place. But that's, I guess, where that's, that's we're at. Emotionality, though. <laughs> You're all over the place. <laughs> to recap, pregnant, having a third kid. New job. New, new state. job. New state. My dad published a book. Please go read it if you're interested. We will be doing a review. Yes, we will be redoing a review. Unbiased review though people might not believe me you can believe it from him at least lots of unknowns just trying to take it day by day and hope for but hope for the best and plan for the worst when it comes to where and when this baby's going to be delivered and if he's going to be there or not uh, we'd love to know what's been going on with you all have you guys been having some struggles recently um what do you like to do when you're just stressed out and just yeah. just overwhelmed exhausted whether it be mentally emotionally physically what do you like to do thank you guys so much for being here thanks for sticking around during our little therapy session we love you we mean it don't and take it easy see you next time bye